Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Good Burger, home of the Good Burger. May I take your order? Section 7.4, last section before the quiz, uh, where we're going to find the area of different polygons. And so our goal here is just that we can take different polygons, right, different flat two-dimensional figures comprised of straight edges, closed figures, and we can find the area of those. And so the real background knowledge here, again, is that you can find the area of most of these figures by decomposing it into a combination of rectangles and triangles, right, by breaking it up into a combination of rectangles and triangles. And so there's two different ways we're going to look at this. The first way is just taking a figure and breaking it up. So again, I'm going to use red here to kind of break it up. You'll notice in your notes, right, I've got a green triangle and then a blue triangle and an orange rectangle. So green triangle, area of a triangle, half base times height. Base is 6. Height perpendicular distance from the base is 2, half of that. 6 times 2 is 12, half of 12 is 6 meters squared. Blue triangle, actually looks like it has the same dimensions, right? Half of base is 6, height is 2, 6 times 2 is 12, half of that, again, 6 meters squared. I don't have orange, so we're going to do the rectangle here with my black pen, right? Base is 6, height is 4, or base is 4, height is 6, that so doesn't necessarily matter. 24 meters squared, right? Once you do that, then you just add these all together. 24 plus 6 plus 6, 36 meters squared, total area. Okay? Second option. Sometimes they're going to give you weird figures on a coordinate grid. Sometimes they'll tell you, right, that each of these, right, like it says here, each of these squares represents one square meter. Sometimes they'll tell you that each square is a half in length. Maybe it's worth two. You really got to pay attention to what they're saying. But notice here, right, they've already kind of broken it up for us. I've got rectangle one, rectangle two, and then, that was supposed to be blue, right? I've got triangle one. I've only got one of those. So again, decompose it and then find the area of each piece, okay? Rectangle one, base of 11, height of 5. Rectangle one, 55 meters squared. Rectangle two, base of 6, height of 4, area of 24 meters squared. Triangle. Notice that it is a right triangle, okay? So it does not matter what this distance is over here, what the hypotenuse is. What does matter is that I'm going to take half of the base, 5, and the height, 4. 5 times 4 is 20. Half of that gets me 10 meters squared. Total area of this, maybe we could call it paper with the corner ripped off, whatever you want to call it, is all of these things added together, okay? So that's 9, and no, that's not right. Is that right? 89? Did you guys get 89? 9, 79, 89. 89 meters squared. Total brain fart. Okay. Here are three different options for you to try. Again, I would encourage you to pause the video and try them on your own. Um, note that in this particular figure, each of these squares, which is really challenging to see, is just, it's just a one by one. So each one is worth one, one square unit. Okay? Pause the video and, and try them. Okay. In number one, I broke it up into rectangles A and B. A in green, 20 by 6. B in red. The 4 came because if this distance is 6, and this distance is 10, right, that leaves a leftover of 4 for that little teeny ledge. Uh, figure 2, I broke it up into two rectangles and a triangle. 
Really challenging to see here. I do apologize for the copy. Hopefully you could at least get a sense of, like for, for rectangle 1, for example, I figured out, well, it starts at 2 and it ends at 7, so this must be 5. It starts at 2 and ends at 6, so that must be 4. And that's how I got my measurements, okay, for a total of 27 units squared. And then in the last one, you could kind of do, um, I guess you could technically do it two different ways. You could probably do all of these a lot of different ways, right? I kept this arrow as just one rectangle and one big triangle. Rectangle 5 by 2 triangle was 2, 4, 6 across the base, height of 4, total of 22 centimeters squared. If you're having questions about these, now is the time. Pause it. Come and see me. If not, let's ramp it up a little bit. Okay, right? How could you find the area of just the stone path? So notice on this picture here, right, they give me directions, directions, dimensions of the whole thing, right, 8 by 7, and then the garden, 4 by 3. I just want the area of the stone path. So there's really three steps here. The first one is to find the area of the entire figure. So length times width, base times height, whole thing would be 8 times 7, whole thing, 56 meters squared. We're taking out the garden. So we're going to find the area of just the garden or just what's taking, being taken away. Right? That's 4 by 3, 12 meters squared. Finally, last step is to actually take it away. Right? We're going to take the whole thing and subtract the garden. And you're left with just the area of the path. Okay. See if you can figure this out for this particular one. I want to know, find the area of the green portion. Right, find the area of the green portion, right? These white sections have been punched out. So pause the screen and try it. Right. The whole thing I found in red, right, that's this 8 by 4. That's the whole figure. The punch outs are 2 by 2, and they're identical. So I did 2 by 2 for one punch out, and then I doubled that to get 8. Just the green would be taking the whole thing, 32, minus the 8 of the punch outs for an area of 24 meters squared. Again, if you're having questions, please come and see me. There are two requirements for this section, 7.4 and IXL FF6. Uh, both of these are required for this particular section. Okay. When you're finished with 7.1, 2, 3, and 4, there is a review, and then our quiz will be the next step after that. Have a great day.